We're starting with souls first. We're starting with souls, okay? This will be easier on me if I do it this way. Okay. Now for, let's say, oh, where's my paint? Where's my paint? My paint, okay. My paint. There it is. Not totally about okay. Okay, first, this is called a soul fragment. Is this on paint? It's on paint, okay. This is called a soul fragment. This is a level 45 one. Level 45 soul fragments, okay? And these come from Spiral. Level 45. Spiral Abbey. And you take four of them. Why is it not straight? P fuck this. You take four of them. Once you take four of them, they become. This is what you guys know as low 45 soul. Right? And it gives 5 AP. Okay, this is exactly like the free-to-play version. The free-to-play version is also level 45. There's a version for level 45, regardless of what AP it may be. And you can use it, right? But, and then you trend, and then you want to you want to start collect, and then you uh, you can either upgrade it or collect stuff to get the uh, to get the level 50 one. Okay, and this is the level 50 fragments times four, and they come from accessory breaking. Okay, and once once you get four pieces of that. Once you get four pieces of that, you get a level 50 soul. And level 50 soul is 10 AP. And once you once you have one piece of each, this is ex this is where it differs. Once you take both, you take both of the souls and you merge them. 
right? Once you take both of those and you merge them, you get a level one. Of the this is this would be called the level fifty Hong Soul. And this one has twenty five AP starting. Or not twenty five, sorry, fifteen. Fifteen AP. So it's just the two merged together. This is kind of different from the free-to-play version. The free-to-play version, you get your you get your little you get your little fragments, right? Like let's say the level forty-five creation path for fragments, right? For the free-to-play, um, and then you get your you get your level. You get your level 45, what is it? Moon water? Moon water soul, right? And then you either have a choice. You either have a choice of making this go straight to a level 51, right? Low 50 Silver Frost Full, or whatever it's called. I think it's Homong Energy. Homong Energy, right? You either you pay a lot of materials, materials to upgrade, right? Or, or you get, oh, what is it? Um, All fit the epic dungeon snake fragment and all fit the epic dungeon eddy fragment. If you get all of those and then you merge it, and you can merge it into how much fit low fit the energy, right? So then, from here, right? You get your your. This is this is the what stage one, right? Stage one. This is stage one. And then you guys have a lot of stages. You know, stage two. Stage two. Stage three. Stage four. Stage five. You, you know, you go on and on and on. All the way up to what, stage five, right? And it stops there, for now, for you guys. That's where it stops for That's where it stops for level for the free to play client for now. Of course, later on, later on, there's going to be even more. Okay, later on, there's going to be even more, all the way up to, all the way up to stage 10. All the way up. Okay, up to stage 10. It ends there. That's how much the free to play goes that's how far the free to play goes for now they haven't added um, ridiculous souls yet for the for the free to play now for for all those that are that are wondering why do i want to upgrade my soul on free to play clients why do you want to upgrade your souls because Someone, someone already said that, oh, this level only gets plus two, right? And this one is only like plus two AP. Like there's no crit, there's nothing. It's, it's just 
constant plus twos, right? And then people are going to think, oh, is there a way to, you know, shortcut all the way just to, uh, just to a, uh, just to a stage six, or if there's a way to shortcut all the way to a stage ten or something, right? There are no shortcuts on the free-to-play server. There are no shortcuts. You have to do each stage. You have to do each stage all the way to the end. You have to. There's no shortcut from 1 to 5. There's no shortcut from 1 to 10. Until they release, until they release ceiling charms, okay? If they release ceiling charms, if they release ceiling charms, then, then people can make a level 6 and seal it. They can make any level soul and then seal it and then sell it on the market. Okay. Now this is where it gets in where free to play will eventually get souls that are from KR and CN. Okay. This is where it will eventually, you will eventually make a 10 soul into a legendary version. Let me see if there's, let me see if she's still on, I can get a picture from her stream. Now, eventually, the free-to-play ones will look like this. Okay? Eventually, because this is what is on on Taiwan. Okay? Eventually, the stage 10 legendary will merge up to legendary. And this is just a one-step thing. It's massively expensive, one-step thing. Okay? And this is 35 AP with a buff, with a buff that gives you, it's a, it's a one minute cooldown, six second buff for, I think it's 200 AP. Okay. This one is a one minute cooldown for six seconds on any attack that you start with. It can be crit, it can be non-crit, it can be anything. It will give you 200 AP buff for six seconds. Now the China and Korean version have an easier way of doing, of showing this. Just like what, just like what I drew in the paint here, just like what I drew in the paint, once you make a Hongmong soul on KR, right? Once you make a Hongmong soul on KR, you start this path, which is pretty much the same as the free to play, all the way from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Except for KR, we put, they put in a RNG based upgrading system okay where once all the way up to five you're guaranteed you're guaranteed 100 percent upgrades after that point you have a chance to go to a prefixed version this is the dead soul a dead soul and a live soul have basically the same stats but a dead soul has no future like you cannot upgrade it the only method of saving this is to go back to a 5 and hope that you get a non-prefix 6. So in five, 5 times you have to get non-prefix 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10.
So free to play's method of doing the soul is a more guaranteed. You don't have to deal with RNG. Right. But because it's guaranteed, there are less stats on it. There are less stats on this. Okay. And then for us, our legendary also proceeds past this point. Okay, we have two varieties of legendary souls with sub varieties of legendary souls. And once you get past to a 10, there is no, there's no more RNG dying. It's only RNG to get what type. And you can always switch the type. Okay. Now you see, let me switch back to the paint. On the free to play one, your your souls, you see, on, on the legendary one, right? The one that eventually free to play NAEU will also get, 35 AP as maxed, right? But let me go in game and show people a level 10. I'll show people a level 10 of non free to play version this is why that this is why free to play has less stats on it you guys have a guaranteed way of evolving the souls there's no rng evolved it's more expensive why you guys can keep complaining that oh it's so expensive for only such little things for upgrades I have to make it so that you pay more per upgrade in order to keep people from reaching max unless you have superficial methods of getting more okay until uh, so so that's one reason why it's more expensive why you guys can keep complaining that oh it's so expensive for only such little things for upgrades it is a time sink it is a gold sink it is meant to keep players to from quitting it's to keep you playing the game, grinding the game. Compared to how, oh, we, we, for, for, for Koreans or Chinese players on, on their respective regions, oh, we can chance it, go all the way up to six. And if it dies, well, our six has much more stats than your six. Now here's here is R six. Let me add a no capture game. Let me add this one second. Why window sizing has to be so hard, please. Window sizing, please. Now you see R6. R6 is 25 AP and 185 critical damage. Okay. That is how much R6 has. It has 25 AP at level 6 and 185 crit damage. We take a chance. And no matter what, if it dies or not dies, it still has the same stats. That's the main difference between the free-to-play and the pay-to-play versions. Okay. Hmm. Are you talking about the paint one? No, that's how much it is supposed to go. Yeah, and your 6 has 22 with nothing, like no critical damage, no nothing, okay? And then we can go all the way up to current legendaries. This is my current legendary versus the legendary that you saw in here. I have 5 more AP, and my effect 
is critical rate and critical damage quite more than the free to play versions but you guys don't have to take a chance at all which is the big thing That's pretty much the main point why the souls differ that much in prices, in everything. Okay. Oh, I should probably save that picture. Here's the picture. I'll put it on the paint too. Oopsie. Probably not do that. So the main difference, the main difference between the free-to-play ones, is this. We have a chance to die, and we have to play a little bit of RNG. If it dies, we have to go back. If it dies, we have to go back. So it's based. It's based of based on our time. But for you guys, there is no going back. There is no going back ever. You're always guaranteed to go up, 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 and up. Always. That pretty much sums up souls. Any questions for souls before we move on to weapons? Yeah, the souls are very, very straightforward. Oh, the these two. Um, one second. I should have those stats written somewhere. I think that one is critical damage. I think. Oh no no no! You you want to know what yours is? Thirty five hundred HP. And where is and I think that is four 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 C damage, critical damage. I think I am not that fluent with the I'm not that fluent with the thing yeah kill and I will upload this what are the chances to f succeed or fail it's like 60 40 or 30 70 depends on which ones are you uh, trying to upgrade
Uh, I don't know the materials for the free-to-play ones. Sorry, I don't know the uh, free-to-play ones. How do you get the level 45 one? You have to cr you have to craft it. Level 41, 45 one, you craft it with you craft it from spiral materials, uh, ornaments, and some other stuff. I'm pretty sure the free-to-play players, the NAU players, can tell you more. All I know is that you get it through spiral materials and tower materials to get the 45 one. But most free-to-play players are go most of the players currently are going to tell you just to get the fragments. Just get the fragments from the three epic dungeons and craft a level 51 and end it there. Because the cost cost efficiency to get two AP is not really worth it unless you're going for vanity. Okay, unless you're going truly for vanity, it's not really worth it. Close the souls one and I think it's three ornaments. Yeah, I think it's three ornaments. Now, whatever the mats may be, I believe it's cheaper to just do the fragments because people are farming those dungeons so much that it's going to be easier to get the fragments for cheaper cost than to go back to do old content tediously. Okay, so as long as you have a level stage 1, level 50 soul, you're fine. See if I can find this. Okay, that's good. It has all these stats. Does it? Where is this one? Alright, that's good. Here and here. I don't need this one. Hi Jack, what's up? Give me, give me a minute or so. I don't answer questions on when to get.
because some things I want to type. Especially stuff that I want to emphasize. I will type them to emphasize it. I'm not going to only say it because the VOD could get muted by some XYZ reason. Sometimes I'll just type it just in case because it shows up on the chat. And that's really it. Alright, we'll start weapons then. Let me clear this. I don't want that. Oh, why do I have a dot? Alright, let's clear that and let's clear this. Alright. Now this is using... I know for a fact that this is using the, uh, the Taiwan or the China or the Japan translations. So the skills, the skills are not going to be a good translation for the NAU because the NAU translations are so fucked. Okay, so I'm going to be relying on the KR uh, translations of the skills. Okay, this should be. This should be from Taiwan, because the Japan font is a lot wider. Even if you translate to English, it uses the same font, and the font is a lot wider on the Japanese clients. So this is this should be Taiwan. Uh, many of you probably noticed that there's two different buffs. One is triggered the black weapon okay the black weapon which is a derivative of a comment okay the black weapon is called comment on kr and the white weapon is called meteor on kr and i'm going to use those two interchangeably Okay, so Korean uh, stage fourteen. You uh, saying is white? It's comet. Uh, fuck, bigger. Okay, and then he saying, which is the black is the meteor. Oh wait, no, it's the wrong way. Oh. The white is the meteor. Sorry. English names suck. Black one is the comet. So, we'll leave that on the Leave that on the paint for now. People need to correlate that. The white one is called Meteor on KR. And the black one is called Comet on KR. But it's switch yourself on free to play. Okay? On free to play, it is switched. On the free to play, it is switched. In terms of the stats and the buffs on what they do see the black one the black one's skill the black one's skill is increases but damage and the white one is a cooldown reduction on kr the original server and on on taiwan which which is the first Taiwan and JP are the two first ones to use this kind. Um, not not Japan. Japan has Tiger or something uh, for for other for other paths. But when you go Taiwan and Japan, 
uh, initially had these versions. And this is what's going to come from NA, uh, to NA and EU. Okay. Uh, so again, black gives you damage on free to plays, but it uses the black skin when it's supposed to have the white skin with the white stats. Keep that in mind, it's swapped. When I start to explain what the what each of the classes ones does, okay? Uh, where is where is this? Okay, so the black buff it triggers an additional damage equal to one hundred and fifty percent of your attack power. So, whatever your attack power is. Let's say it's 500, right? So then you will get an additional damage of 750 attack power in a range that's uh, multiplied by an additional damage ratio. So if it triggers off of it, anything, it'll trigger off of any attack that the, cl that the player does. Okay, so you're going to any attack that you do, any damage that you perform, this is exactly the same as the red random additional damage gem proc. It will proc and do a ratio of your attack power times 150%, and it'll give you one stack of black buff. Once you get to 10 blacks, uh, once you get to 10 stacks of black buffs, it will reset all the skills that can be reset so there are some skills that cannot be reset such as destroyers rage you cannot reset that no matter what you can't you can't reset that with warlocks buff you can't reset that by um, re-entering somewhere or dying the cooldown stays you cannot reset that no matter what with any buffs. And it's the same with the white buff. Except the white buff is similar to the PvP weapon on KR's buff. Where if you get hit, it can trigger HP recovery of a certain amount. These shown are stage sixes and it's 400, but when you start stage one, it, it's, it's down to like 200 or something for HP recovery. And most of, the, most of the time it's useless because this game is meant to be played as you're not trying to get hit anyway. The only time that this occurs is PvP where there is no safe uh fail safe method of getting of not getting hit okay so for most classes you're going to have to go black most classes will go black because of the additional damage buff Now there are a few exceptions to this. There are very few exceptions to this. Okay. Some classes, the skill modifier is just absolute garbage. Okay. Some classes skill modifiers are absolute garbage. So for example, See how to copy and paste this. Let's bring up paint. And we'll do this.
Now these are the white buffs, okay? I'm gonna start from white. Just to show, just to tell everyone what the modifiers will be for their white damage versions, which is free to plays black weapons. Okay, make sure you keep that in mind. Make sure you keep that in mind. KR's white skill modifiers are free to plays black modifiers. And KR's black modifiers are free to plays white modifiers. So the first one, BM. Okay, this is your let me make this red with can we do that? Can we do that? Yeah we can do that. Okay, so so for BMs we can just make it black. Why is it still red? The fall? Okay. BMs. It's your four skill. Or your 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 not your four skill, your uh, draw stance RB your draw stance RB you get increased damage from your draw stance in RB for KFMs it is your two punch wind or fire it doesn't matter which one you go it affects both the, the weapon skill modifier will change automatically if you spec to fire punt or fire kicks with your two the weapon line will change automatically to reflect whatever spec you are in if you go wind it will change to wind punches okay. now for destroyers is RB skill Okay. Now for FMs, it is your ice RB. Oops, don't do that. For FMs, it is your ice RB. For sins, it is your it'll modify your RB skill, your backstab, whatever it's called. Okay. Um, I think this one is the summoners. Should be a summoners. Uh, summoners RB. Let me check one second where is it and this should be your RB for summoners it increases damage on RB. For LBMs, this is one of those, this is one of those, this is one of those classes that black may not be what you want. It increases your normal stance right click this increases your normal stance right click this is one of those classes where you might not want it
Ah, for Warlocks. Why is it back again? Wait. Ah, for Warlocks, it is your four skill. Whatever it may be, whatever if it's Shadow or Ice. Whichever one you spec, just like the KFM one. Okay. And then for Soul Fighters, it is the same. It is the RB, whether it be Earth or Ice. Okay. So. Maybe that's not clear enough, huh? Maybe it's not clear enough. I'll, I'll let that sink in a little bit. Uh, yes, summoner. It also is the same thing. Summoner is also the same thing. If it's summoner is also the same thing. Sorry, I forgot that. Uh, Earth or wind. Okay. Super special Duns class. Okay. Super super special Duns class. So this is KR's white, but free free to play black weapons okay Big deal. Okay. Every other class is fine with getting this damage increase. Except for the Dunes class. <laughs> Don't use red font for that. Um now the percentage of change no it doesn't say that on KFMs where does it say that on KFMs look I'm looking at the KFM ones It is a damage increase. And they might have changed it from the two punch to the four kick. Or maybe my reading of it is incorrect. Give me one sec. Uh, let me see. I'll double check for that. Is it? Let me see what kick. Well, what is this? Oh wait, is it? Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not the two punch. Sorry, it's the it's the four kick. Uh, it's the F kick. F kick, whether it be wind or fire, for KFM. 
but it really doesn't matter which one it is because it's still tied in. It still ties into both specs for both damages and good. It's good for KFMs regardless. Okay. Now I'm going to start up another did it change. Okay. I'm going to copy this. Oh, no, I'm not going to copy it. Fourteen. Oh, I have to change the Korean again. Now it's time to talk about the black one. The one that's on the white. The one that's on the white. Okay. This one is KR black, but free to play white weapons. Okay. Now the white weapons are for the cooldown weapons. A lot of them, a lot of them, I don't really even know because you don't see players use it. Hey, okay. you don't really see players use this because it's pretty shit. Yeah, everyone wishes that uh, you guys have the white one with the white damage, but that's not the case. It's not the case at all. Ooh, pick. This is BM. It reduces cooldown. This is reducing cooldown. CDR on V. Your non resetable skill. Okay. Cooldown reduction on V. It's pretty shit. KFM. I think this one is X. It should be X. Like I said, a lot, a lot of players don't even use these um, and the X skill reduces cooldown by I think it's 40%, 50% and 60%. So all it does is it helps a fire KFM get more pressure points. Okay. 
is the destroyer. Rage skill. Minus 10%, cooldown. Minus 20%, cooldown. Minus 30%, cooldown. FMs. Fire C. Minus 30%. Minus 40% and minus 50%. Sin. This one should be four skill. Minus 30, minus 40, and minus 50. Summoner. I think this is two. I think the skill is number, your two skill. Can't remember. I think it's your two skill. No, it's not the, uh, it's the, um, the, it's not the, no, it's the, oh, I hate this skill, how they, how they set this up. I think it's the F skill. Let me see. Mm. The translations are really confusing for your uh, Taiwan. Okay, so I'm going to double check it. Of course, why? Yeah, it's the, I think it's the, um, the little root thing on the ground. Not the root thing, the, um, fuck, I forgot what I used to call it. It's the, it's the movement impairing one. the it's the movement impairing one and for LBMs here it is the big one Draw LB. This is plus damage, two percent. Five percent. And ten percent. So, uh, have fun, LBMs, shit weapons. Uh, here's Wallach, Wallach, F, Soul Steel, minus 10% cooldown,
What are you talking about? It's not broken. Don't look like it's broken. I don't even see it. It's not on my side. Um, but let me finish this. And on Soulfire, uh, I think this is the Z cooldown. Should be the Z cooldown. Minus 10%, minus 20%, and minus 30%. Now, there is one other uh, there is one other class that could use something else, okay, and on this page on this page, it is also warlock. This does massive amounts of damage. Okay, the Soul Steel does massive amounts of damage, and it's much better, in my opinion. Uh, it is much better, in my opinion, over the the damage one because that's what also I picked. That's exactly what I picked. Okay, it does a lot more damage. I hope people see the two different ones. This is a big, it's a big thing for people that don't understand. Um, what happens with their with their legendary weapons okay
I can switch back to the other one if you want. This is the black weapon that... This is the black weapon that FMs are that um, free-to-play will get. Yeah, I never went over the percentage, but the percentages are kind of different. The percentages are kind of different on the free-to-play versions, okay? And the percent for, for KR, the percentages are all the same. For all of these, it is plus 2% 2, 2 damage. But for, for all of these... It is plus two percent damage, then plus five percent, and plus ten percent at the different stages. Okay, so it is literally the same. Plus two, plus five, plus ten, plus two, plus five percent, all the way down. There's no changes to. There are no changes to any any. Cl there's no class that specifically gets more damage on theirs. And there's no class that specifically gets less damage on theirs. Every class is equal. And if you don't know what the weapons look like, okay, if you don't know what the weapons look like, let me show you this. This is, this is the quote unquote Seraph skin, okay? This is the Seraph skin. Um, this is the white weapon, the white skin. But on free to play, it has the black stacks. Okay. And on, and this is the black weapon. But on free to play, the black skin has the KR white weapon stats. And no, on Taiwan NJP, free to play gets these ways. Free to play gets these weapons. That's it. And there's no arguing and if or buts on this. Free to play gets these versions. The black one.
and the white one. So now if people are confused, I will type it out, all of it. Okay. Free to play black weapon is the plus additional damage buff. Okay. Let me, I'll just crop this. Let me crop this into a new one so that it is all on one screen. Fuck. It's so big. And this one. Here you go. Now you can compare. I think this will be a lot easier for a lot of players or a lot of viewers to understand this. No, Athos, this is the weapons. This is the legendary weapons that we're going to get. Now, if people understand, your black weapon is on your attacks. You get the additional damage stacks of buff. The stacks last 10 seconds, if I remember correctly. Okay. Both weapon buffs, both weapon buffs, Last weapon bus weapons buff stacks last ten seconds stacks up to ten times. Once ten times is reached, you get a true buff that lasts five seconds. Okay. After five seconds ends, all resettable skills are reset. That makes sense now.
Chrono, I hate to burst your bubble. I really hate to burst your bubble because you've been here a couple times. But if the only way to get those gems are from a cash event and there's no legit way for any other players to get those then you're locking items behind cash shop which is the meaning of pay to win meaning if nobody pays the trove you're never going to get the gem out in the market and that's fact Why does free keys matter? The fact that you have to do this event. The fact that you have to do this event in order to get it. It is not about having an advantage or not having an advantage people it is not about having more stats or not it is the fact that this gem was locked behind a cash wall it doesn't matter if it provides little damage or more damage Okay, now I'm gonna erase this because I think people are getting confused. Where's my eraser? Is this the eraser? Okay, this is the eraser. I'm gonna erase this because I think people are not, are misunderstanding this. This is the fucking smallest eraser ever. I swear to God. Can I just do this and delete it? Yeah, I can. the fucking stupidest eraser ever. And Miss Paint, you failed me first time. Yeah, let me get rid of these. And now people can actually see which ones. Uh, now people can actually see which ones will actually affect them in a lot of their fights. Okay. The black weapon, right? Why can't I ever draw straight? Black weapon. Draw stance RB. Draw stance RB versus. V skill. You're using RB so much more. You're using RB so much more compared to using V. This is a no brainer. This one is absolutely no brainer. I'll go through the no brainer ones first. The ones that you want to argue.
on a shirt, you use RB way more, regardless of if you have Rage Up or not. This one's also a no-brainer. Okay. Sin. Uh, I hope this one's a no-brainer. Like, these are definitely no-brainers. Same for Summoner. This one's also a no-brainer. These are all like the must go to versions for these classes. You'd be kicking yourself if you got the other version. Ah, uh, here's the here's the little toss up for KFMs. KFM This one benefits ben This one benefits wind and fire. This X the cooldown one really only benefits fire. So if you're a diehard fire KFM, you can go with the cooldown one, the white weapon, if you want. If you want to be able to switch between fire and wind, you should probably go with the black one. To write this in case people are confused. There. Uh, the X. Um, one sec. I will confirm that. Where is it? The X is the leading, not power point, uh, not the pressure point. Uh, let's keep going. LBM. This one is a no-brainer. Okay, this is a no-brainer. Unless you're going to be playing Wind RB LBM, which is the, sh the, the shittiest DPS ever, you will not get black on LBMs. LBMs, you better get white for your draw LB damage.
uh, for both FMs and Warlocks. FMs and Warlocks. It's a big, it's a big toss-up. Okay. FMs and Warlocks are a big toss-up because you do benefit a lot from both. And this is where it is your choice. This is where it is your choice. This is also where it is up to your gameplay, your play style. This is your choice. If you like to have, if you like to have, for FMs, if you like to have just an overall damage increase with no focus on having to use your Fire C on cooldown every single time, because sometimes a boss's face does not allow you to use Fire C like if you have to kill an ad or something, Ice RB will win out. Bosses with ads, bosses with a lot of phase changing, jumping overs, etc. Or resetting debuffs. Then Ice RB will win out in damage. Now, there, now for those fights, if the FM is pro enough is ver well versed in the boss enough for using fire c only when they know they have 10 seconds window of doing max damage then your fire c will win out in damage the the weapon buff here does not matter at all to an fm or a warlock like really it does not matter that a little additional damage doesn't really matter. The only thing that they would be losing, pretty the biggest thing that they'd be losing, would be the resets. Because you don't get resets. You don't get resets unless you're hit ten times or more. Because it's a it's a random proc on hits on getting hit. It is a big, it is a big, uh, actually, it's not that big of a DPS loss if you can prioritize a Fire C enough. Because resetting on an FM, what are you going to reset for an FM? What do you reset? You reset Fire X? It's not that big of a deal. You're gonna reset meteor, but you but you reduce the cooldown on meteor by using f uh, fire f fireball. You and and the weapon itself was gonna reduce your fire C by thirty percent. So a skill reset for an FM doesn't play that big of a deal. So it's a big toss up. If you want if you want your resets and you want your your gradual like guaranteed ice RB damage, then you go black. If you want to play a lot more burst and if you want the weapon to like be quote unquote semi useful in six v six, then you go white as an FM. Now for for K, on, on KR, they did do calculations on which they did calculations on which weapon is better, and up to 
up to the minus 40% or the plus 5%, the Fire C wins out in terms of damage over a 5 minute fight. For a 5 minute fight, the Fire C cooldown reduction wins in terms of damage until the RB hits the next stage of the damage increase. Once it's 5%, then it's pretty much equal. And Ice RB will catch up to Fire C in terms of the weapon differences. And then at 12, at the third stage, the third breakthrough, Ice RB will win in terms of damage, regardless of how fast or how low your cooldown is on Fire C. So if you're in it, so basically if you're in it for the long haul, if you're in it for the long term for your FM, go black. If you want to be able to play 6v6 and you don't care that much for your damage overall, then you go white. You'll be more relevant, more tanky in 6v6. And Fire C is still a great it's still a great skill for DPS. Now for Wolox. Wolox is also a toss up between your cooldown Soul Steel, which gives you an instant V you know, instant V and instant 4 over just increasing your most bread and butter spam skill which is 4 and the Warlocks the Warlocks had also this damage calculation and the F Soul Steel is the long term winner and four weapon is the short term winner. So it is the reversal of FM weapons. If you're in the if you're in it for the long term, you want the soul steel one. If you're in it for the short term, you want the burst damage on four. So I'll, I'll write it out so that People that just came in can see the image long term. Uh, good for long term. Good for short term. And then this one is good for short term. This one is good for a long term. And so fighters, I have not done any research. So I only know that what their weapons do um, and if I'm just gonna glance at it right now if I glance at it I would probably give I probably give a star for the cooldown one for SFs most likely for the cooldown one because this Z is really really good damage it instantly gives you five stacks and allows you to use um, rapid kicks on the Soul Fighter. That would be my choice if I had to pick one. Like, without doing any research at all for Soul Fighters.
So, any questions? I can leave up this picture. I can leave up this picture. Hi, Mapler. What does the truth buff do? It's just the same. Uh, uh, the truth buff. I don't. I don't. I don't want to give possibly false information because true buff on KR is different from true buff on Taiwan and JP. True buff. Uh, from my knowledge, okay. So there's my out. Like this is from what I know. True buff grants 100% crit rate. Uh, for the five seconds. Yeah, Will's first. I will put it on YouTube. Okay, next was when I say long term, I it, I mean if the weapon stages go all the way to ten, if if free to play clients' weapon stages go all the way to ten, the modifier percentages increase. That means some modifiers are good at the lower percents, and then they and then they pretty much plateau. In terms of DPS increase versus their counterparts. So, for example, the FM RB is really shit at plus 2% damage. But once you get all the way up to plus 10% damage, it will do more DPS benefit compared to having Fire, fire C cooldown. Uh, Gris, Black for Summoner is an absolute no-brainer. They play both. There are some Summoners that have gear for Earth, which means they go Sunflower. They have, and some have gear for Wind, and they go Wind. It doesn't matter which one. Uh, Clubba, is there any kind of estimate for stack proc chance? Nope. Um, the higher your weapon is, the more percent chances, uh, the chance, more chance of it stacking, yes. But I don't have any percentages for you. PCAMs, what do you mean? Your, your client is free to play. That means the left side is black and the right side is white. Slicks, you can see the boxes on the image. Like, I shouldn't need to throw a summary or anything. You should be able to see which one's boxed and which one's circled. Um, Light Warrior, I don't know. All I know is what it is on what it is shown. Oh, for, for, for fire? Uh, no, no, for fire BMs, it's the same. This, this RB works on fire or lightning or fire lightning or fire it works on both it works on both
Omega because your client is free to play. Is it not? Your client is free to play, that's why. Yes, Janet. High level PV, all classes are. High classes are all wanted. Yes, Dark Wish. If I was playing on NA, I'd pick black. No brainer. Yayo, five, probably three to four patches away from that four skill. These weapons are probably just going to end up at 10. Just ends up at 10. Yes, Suchi. Yes. At the second at the second skill modifier breakthrough, both the FM and the Warlocks will end up being the equal DPS increase. So, think of it as like two waves one wave that starts at the bottom for dps increase and one wave that starts at the top so let me do this i'll do this or no so This one would be good for short term. And this one would be good for long term. And this would be the DPS increase. And what was technic it won't technically like plateau like this. Let me fix it a little bit. Hold on, let me fix this. I don't like how I did that. Because that's misleading. It's misleading. Okay. Good for short term, it'll go like this. Good for long term, it starts like this. Okay, there. That should be better. Wow, gee, you're really gonna be picky? You're really gonna be picky? I hate you. I hate you so much. Why did that change color? Oh my god. Wow, that's so bad. So then, here would be stage is one to threes. Stage one to threes would be about here. Stage 
four to six will be about here. In stage seven to ten will be about here. Thank you. Um, so okay. Nexos, it says both weapon stacks. It says both weapon stacks. I'm not sure what else I have to write there. Like, do I have to write something else for you to understand that? Green. Good for long term. Orange, good for short term. Uh, and someone asking about the fire one, fire BM, you're still using, fire BM, you're still using RB. And fire RB hits even harder than lightning RB. So the higher modifier on it is going to make even more of a difference. It doesn't matter if it's not by not that much. You're still going to be using RB. Having a cooldown on your V and then having the boss move out of it. Like the boss moves out of your V, what happens? You lose your V damage and your skills useless. It is still safer to go RB for the damage. No, Kageshi. At least not. At least I don't believe so. I will always stick by lightning. I will always stick by lightning. Jasper, you can just read it. LBM affects your draw LB plus damage. The black one increases your out of draw stance RB damage. Which stance are you in more? High geared BMs are using lightning. They're using lightning.
Yes, guilty crown. Red ones are recommended. What about the snacks? What about them? Oh, maybe I should say something. Uh, according to latest patch updates, right weapons will also be able to stack reset buffs upon hitting upon attacking Maybe I should emphasize this. Hello, ghost. So, any other questions? So damage procs are here so many skill that you don't have to put them in consideration. No, but your skill damage is way more. Your skill damage is way more important. In my opinion. The chances of you even obtaining a legendary weapon? <laughs> mm. uh, up to you how fast, how much you want to farm the game. Mm. It's based on your gameplay. If you, if you can farm, if you can farm forever. Because you're going to need to do a lot of palace. You're going to need a lot of palace for all the flowers. 
and then you're gonna need all the mats that they that they shown. You can't exclude the flowers. The flowers are the hard part of it. True X Alpha. The flowers are the hard part. Flower drop rate is like abysmal. It is abysmal. It's like less than 1% chance of getting flowers to drop. Sealed flowers is tradable. Unsealed flowers equals not tradable. Yeah, you're gonna need ten flowers. It's not easy to get. Not easy to get at all. Correct. Correct, correct, correct.
<laughs> no way it's 30. Yes, orders are from Frozen Warehouse. Yes. Orbs are from Warehouse. Oh, Mrs. Dot, it's just for keeping up in chat because I know there's a delay. But I do talk. Storm weapon, knighted data. What do you mean? Everyone's storm weapons the same. You get three second reduction on rollback.
Yes, tumble back. Yeah, storm weapons skill changes is just roll back minus three seconds. Hi, Lysara, what's up? Yes. How expensive are the legendary levels after one? You still need quite a lot of mats just to get to two and three. It's not a fun ride. Not a fun ride at all. Hey Trump, what's up? So what the fuck is happening with Twitch alerts? Push everything. Let me close this. Let me see if that helps. Nope. Not helping. Yes, the shirt is my main class. I'm tormenting you with Kara Legendary. What? what are you talking about, like Sarah? Yes, so Lex, most KFMs go F. I'm a stats person, G. You know this. You know this.
Hmm. Okay, so I will save this image and post it onto the bot also. So people can reference it.